use a different 360. Yeah, this one feels good. This profile feels good. It's super, super crispy. Ooh, baby. Makes me want to get back into competing, bro. Mm. Fucking let's get let's get in there, Jordan. Let's make a team. Jordan, let's bring it back. But yeah, this is um this is an alienware monitor. And it also includes the the new NVIDIA reflex. Which I didn't even know they're making I didn't even know they're making NVIDIA reflex for monitors. I'll be honest, that's a little bit new to me. I knew Nv NVIDIA Reflex was in certain games, but NVIDIA Reflex on monitors, I had no idea that that was like a thing. So, yeah. Slide out, baby. Slide. That's not how it works. Got it. That didn't work. <laughs> oh, wait. It is how it works. Oh, hell yeah. We're good. Hey. Uh, hell out of here. That shit. Oh, my God. Base. AW25218. Listen, I'm gonna be honest. Why are all the monitor companies coming out with why? Why is this why? Why is it the Alienware AW2521H? Just make it simple. Just make it the Alienware Alienware M5. Done. You know? Why you gotta overcomplicate things? Alienware M5. It's that simple. I have so many boxes in here, bro. Okay, so this is... Holy shit, why is it so heavy? What in the world? What is in here to make this so heavy? Okay, that's weird. Jesus. I'm assuming this just goes like this. Boom. This goes in uh, like this. Does it not lock in? Or <laughs> is, is it supposed to lock in? Or <laughs> does it just kind of... I feel like it's supposed to lock in. Bro, can you shut the fuck up for five seconds and type like a normal chat room? God, I hate you guys, but I love you at the same time. This is weird. How does this, how does this lock? There's no way this is just this loop. There's no way. There's no way. This has to lock, this has to lock in somehow, right? So strange. Whatever. Keep looking for shit. The plastic? Bro, 
this monitor is heavy, dude. Why does it feel so much heavier than like so many monitors? This is fucking nuts. Check mark, X mark. Got it. Ten four. Good comms. But what I'm worried about here is why doesn't this, unless it's supposed to be like this, I feel like it's not, but maybe it is. Is there something at the bottom? Oh, there is. Oh, right. Got it. Hello? Are you screwing in or what's happening here? Fine. Jesus. Fucking. Eh. Okay, so now it should have come out. Got it. Thanks, Chad. Good comms. Way to be. All right, so now all you simply do. It's just put the monitor, grab it, and you just go click. In theory, that's all you do. This is the sticker says check mark, not check mark. All right. So it's telling me to click in from the top, I think. I think it's telling me to do this, okay? And if I fuck this up, I blame you guys. Why? Because I said so. All right, easy, just like that. Done. 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 Get out of here with this shit. All right, before before I take this off, I need to unplug this monitor first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this. I'm scared that it's gonna like somehow fall out. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna put it on the ground. Okay. Leave that there. And then we're going to unplug this monitor. Okay? So we're going to grab this. Grab this fucking thing. Actually, put it right there. Cable's not away. Okay, one thing that I will say that I don't like is I don't like how the legs of the... I don't like how the base of the monitor is like too, like, I'm not a fan of this. Hold on. See this? I'm not a fan of these two, like, I don't like when monitors do this, okay? This is not a good design. It looks good, but it's not a good competitive design because these fucking wings, they get in the way and they block your keyboard, they block your mouse pad. It's annoying as shit. This is not good. So that's an easy change. Don't tell me they're on the fucking right side, bro. Please. Please don't be on the right side. HDMI, HDMI. Get this fucking microphone out of the way for a second. Sorry. What? Sorry. That's just the spec. Monitor, don't. I did that by accident. Don't worry about that. Just a sec. Ah, just a little leak here and there. Don't worry. Not intended. The 
leak was not embedded. It's opening on my capture card. That's how I leaked my Slack. I'm so thankful that I didn't actually leak anything. Oh my god. I'm so thankful I didn't actually leak anything. Because <laughs> that could have been real bad. Whew. I'm glad I leaked nothing. Bro. This, this is bonkers. This is... Okay. Oh my... This is weird. This is fucking weird, dude. Jesus. Okay, I, I, I'll be honest. I, I thought swapping from 240 hertz to 360 would just be kind of like... Ha ha ha. Ha. This feels like... Uh, this is fucking weird. This is weird. This like, I don't know how to explain this feeling, but... <laughs> okay. If you thought 240 was smooth, Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm in a... I feel like I'm in a... In a... Like an E3 trailer. You know what I'm saying? When the trailer looks all fucking insane and smooth and like... Perfect and fuck... This is weird, dude. It feels like fake, almost. This is trippy as fuck, dude. I wonder if... I wonder if 360 hertz is going to be a standard. 360 hertz is a little extreme. Like, how many games do you know of that actually get 360 FPS? How many games? Counter-Strike? Maybe League of Legends? Valorant? RuneScape? World of Warcraft? Five fucking games. Five games. Overwatch? True. I think. You don't need to hit the cap to benefit from higher refresh rate. Oh, I know. I know. Trust me, I know. Like, a lot of people say, like, why would you get a 240 hertz if... Why would you get a 240 hertz if, um, you know, you don't get 240 FPS? And I always tell people, because I've used a 240 hertz for so long, I always tell people that it doesn't... It doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter if you don't hit the frame rate that's required. It still feels absolutely fucking nuts, right? Like, I could just go cap my frames. Let's go to 240, right? And I can still tell... That I'm getting a much smoother experience. Even though I'm not hitting the 360. Obviously, once I change it to 360, you definitely can feel it more. Literally feels... <laughs> this feels fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> what in the world? This is going to take some getting used to, man. I'm going to be terrible. Hell yeah. When me and Linus did the when me me and Linus did the test for, you know, does frame rate really matter? Does hertz really matter? We didn't have this kind of monitor. We didn't have 360 hertz, dude. We gotta go back. Linus, round two. Let's make another video. Come on down. Come on down. We'll record again. We'll get some more folk. We'll do it again. This is crazy, dude. This feels fake. I literally feel... Okay, what's a good game that I could test that is relatively lower frames? Like, something that I could try that might... You know, that isn't 300 frames. Like, what's a game that I could play that's like maybe 80 or 90 to see if it truly, truly matters? Red Dead Redemption? True, I have like 80 frames in that game. That's true. This is fucking crazy, dude. This is crazy. My 
brain, dude. My brain can't process all this speed. Jesus. This is gonna take some getting used to. Like for real. For real, this is gonna take some getting used to. I'm gonna I'm gonna suck for a little bit. It's kinda it kinda reminds me of when I bought my first 120 hertz monitor. When I went from 60 to 120. God, that was a hard change. Going from 60 hertz to 120 hertz was a very difficult change. It literally fell to this exact same way. Where it literally it feels like I'm in like some fake fucking I don't know. I, I don't know if you guys know. You guys you guys have experienced it, right? When you went from 60 to 120 hertz for your first time, it feels like you're in a fucking like like in a in a in a trailer or something. It doesn't feel real. It's fucking tripping my brain out. Hell yeah. Cool. Set reflex on plus boost. Oh yeah, what does that do? Anything? Feels the same. But will you see the enemies earlier in FPS games? In some cases, yeah. In some cases, yeah, actually. And NVIDIA has... Uh, if you go to the NVIDIA's YouTube channel and you go look at all of the testing that they've done with, you know, response time and refresh rate and all this crazy shit about monitors, if you watch their videos, it's fucking weird. It's, like, very weird to know how much a monitor actually does because you don't think about it. Most of you probably have solid monitors. But you don't ever think, how would my gameplay be like if I was on a shitty monitor? You never think that. You never do. Is this new monitor 1440p? No, no. This is a 10. This is a 1080. This is a, a 1080p, 360 hertz monitor. Okay. I'm actually getting a 1440p, 240 hertz monitor. I believe my my 1440p, 240 hertz monitor will arrive on Monday, I think. So Monday, we're going to test a new monitor. So for now, we're going to play with this 360 hertz Alienware for a little bit, right? Monday, we're going to get a 1440p 240 hertz, and then we're going to swap from 360 to 1440 240, and we're going to go backwards. Well, technically, that's kind of, that's kind of like forwards and then backwards some. So... <laughs> It's two steps forward, one step back. That's exactly what it's going to happen when I swap to the other monitor on Monday. <laughs> Just for fun? Yeah. Strictly for fun. I I I don't know. I I feel like I'm I'm very up with the tech on like PC hardware, but I I am so adamant on my monitor that I've never changed my monitor before. I'm so like stuck on a certain monitor. So I'm messing around to see, one, how 360 hertz feels. And I'm going to mess around, two, see how 1440 feels on 240 hertz. I don't know. Just for fun. See how it feels. Oh my god, I just realized. I could use this 240 hertz monitor... To replace this shitty fucking monitor that I have. Dude, I've had this monitor, this one specifically that I'm looking at right now. I've had this thing for so long. Garbage. This thing's a 240 hertz. This thing's a 360 hertz. This thing is a 60 hertz. Garbage. I want it gone. And now I can finally do it. What exactly does NVIDIA on plus boost or on? Like, what is the difference there? It doesn't feel any different. Is the board game stream is coming back? Yeah, it is. It is. Mm 
You'll love how much better looking 1440p is. I can't wait. I'm excited. So my 1440p monitor will get here Monday. But for now, we're going to play on this 360 hertz monitor. This is crazy though, dude. This is so fucking cool. Fucking 360 hertz, bro. Goddamn. Boost works better if you have lower frame rates, just like ultra mode with NVIDIA low latency. Oh, really? So technically, shouldn't it be better if I leave it on on then? Can you play with the input lag stuff, like press Alt-Z and go to performance, etc.? Alt-Z? Okay, I'm scared. I'm going to overlay really quick. I don't know what that does. Here. 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 I don't do anything. I love it. I love it. It was fucking dope. Thank you, Alienware. The homies. Sending me the monitor for fun. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. I would say the only thing I don't like about this monitor is I don't like the wings at the bottom. I don't like when monitors... Justin, you could probably... You could probably speak the same thing about this. I don't like when monitors on their base, they stick out towards you. Monitors should always go... Um, they should always, they should, monitor bases should always go with the monitor. It should always be like, instead of coming towards you, it should go with the screen. Because the, 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 the legs of the base, when they push towards you, they get in the way, like, I have my fuck, I have this leg near my fucking keyboard, near my mouse, like, I fucking hate it. And they should go horizontally, not vertically towards you. Always, 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 if you are making a monitor, do not make the base, do not make the legs towards the person or away from the person. That way. So just go like this, you know, with the monitor. That's the only thing I'd say about this monitor thus far. This is fucking crazy, dude. I know I didn't change any of my video settings, but for whatever reason, it feels like I did. But that's just because of all my color changes and whatever the fuck, right? That's what happens when you get a new monitor. It feels low. You could just get an arm mount in that point if it's shitty. I, I honestly, I think I will because this is bad. This is, it's really long, dude. It's like, this has to be like... Fuck, I wish I had a measurement. I guess I could just get a mount. Yeah, you're probably right. Maybe I should get a mount. Good idea. Good idea. I like that. You guys are full of good ideas. Especially now that I'll have three monitors the same exact size. 24.5, 24.5, 24.5. Oh, no. I'm going to get a 27-inch on Monday. Fuck. Well, that kind of cucks me a little bit. I, I won't get the triple arm set up then. I don't think. All right, shit. What do we play now? Now that we got a, a nice new, nice new money set up, what do we what do we play? We either play Valorant and suck ass for a little bit, or we just say fuck it and go to a single player game. <laughs> You can mount the 1440p above the 360 hertz so you can play relaxing games leaning back. Okay, you're telling me I'm going to play like this? This is how I'm going to fucking play my games? What am I, a fucking console gamer? Yuck. I'm just, I'm just kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. Please, Microsoft. Uh, I don't have my Xbox yet. So, you know, let Loaded know. They'll give you my address. Uh, Sony. Let Loaded know. I don't have the PlayStation 5 yet. Thank you. This is cool, dude. 
dude. This is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, I can change my title now because now we've already unboxed it. What fucking look at all this? Look at all the damage. Look at all the damage, dude. Look at all that. Look at all that. Damage.